Hey, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Goldie with Goldie Smell Good. If you're new to my channel, it's all about fragrance and fashion and everything in between. But first off, how y'all doing? How the fam? Tell them I said what's up, man. For real. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the Goldie as this does help with my visibility across this platform, okay? Coming at you with a very special video today, how to get more compliments. That's right, guys. How to be the compliment king. Now, guys, there are no guarantees on compliments, man. You, you know how it is. But, in my opinion, if you do what I've outlined in this video, and I don't have no notes, this is all freestyle. I do this, guys. Just pay attention. You may want to grab a notepad or put it in your phone because I'm about to go live, okay? First off, guys, if you want to get more compliments, man, listen. You have to start with your appearance, okay? Everything starts there. People, when they see you, they don't know you from a can of paint, man. <laughs> They can't see your heart, man. They, they can't see what you're about. They can't see none of that, man. The first thing people are going to see is your appearance, okay? So you have to make sure that your appearance is intact, okay? I'm going to start up top, and I'm going to go all the way down. Of course, I'm a hat guy, guys. If you don't wear a hat, even if you do wear a hat, you know, make sure that you have a tight haircut, all right? You know, go to the barber once a week. You know, some say, Goldie, man, I ain't got it like that. Go to a barber every week. Stop drinking, man. Stop smoking. You can go if it was important to you, man. You feel me? In life, you get what's important to you. And that's just what it boiled down to. You feel me? So it's got to be important to you, man. You know, I don't have a barber myself because, I mean, I've been cutting my own hair since the eighth grade, okay? So I can do it myself. However, it's still not what a barber can do. A barber gonna have you live, man, okay? So if you don't know how to do it yourself, get in that barber chair weekly. I'm not even gonna give you every two weeks. Weekly, one more compliments, right? You saw the title of the video, you feel me? All right. <laughs> you got your hair cut tight, man. You got your edge up tight, all that's tight. Next, you're going to go to your frames. As you see, I have my favorite frame on, guys. These are my blue tinted shades. These are my favorite fragrances, man. I mean, favorite fragrances. I'm always talking about fragrances, man. These are my favorite frames. As you know, guys, hey, footwear, frames, and fragrances. We'll get it done, you feel me? But, guys, keep, your, keep some tight frames, you feel me? You know, if you wear glasses, just keep you some tight glasses. Keep them clean. Or if you wear readers, there are so many different style of readers you can get that'll fly and lie. Because here's the news, guys. People look in your face first, and then they go directly to your shoes, man. I've sat back and observed this for myself. They go to your face, they go here first, and then they go to your shoes. That's why I tell you guys, keep your shoes clean. Your shoes are brick. Everything else can be straw. Your shirt can be straw, your jeans can be straw. You could have on a Fruit of the Loom shirt, some Levi jeans, and some Magnani, Meslin, <laughs> you know, Saint Laurent Paris, Balenciaga, Celine shoes, whatever. A nice shoe, or them Donald Pinders like I found in Nordstrom Rack on sale. Does that spend most of your money on your shoes? Because it says so much, man. You can have all that outfit on with some nice shoes and you'll be lying. I don't know what it is. I think maybe in our primitive brain, somehow we're wired like that. Face, shoes, okay? All right. Guys, if you have a beard, and my beard is in and out. A beard is a job, guys. You don't get a beard. You're always getting a beard. And there are no days off. There is no sweatless solution when it comes to a beard or looking good. If you want the compliments, guys, you're gonna have to put forward 
the effort. It just doesn't come in. You just can't roll out of bed, put on your cologne, talking about, I didn't get no compliments. Of course you didn't, man. You got on a raggedy, oversized t-shirt and some hooping shorts in the mall. <laughs> Come on, man. In the mall. Oversized t-shirt, raggedy, and some hooping shorts. Talking about you didn't get any compliments. So of course not, buffoon. <laughs> that ain't you're not and you're not going to. I keep it real on my channel. It's a no cap channel. I don't waste your time or mine. I'm gonna give it to you real guys. If you I mean you saw the title, how to get compliments. If compliments is not your thing, I get it. If you don't want compliments, that that's fine. In my opinion, I would call cap on that. It's not so much you desiring compliments, but everybody wants a like every now and then. Everybody wants to know that, th that they're doing good in life and that, that they're going forward. And that's what compliments give you that esteem and you feel better about yourself. See, when I get compliments throughout the day, it's almost like I get taller. I, I start growing, you know what I'm saying? About six, nine around this month, man, you know? So that, that, and that's what, you know, it'll do to you, man. You know, just the benefits of that. You know, people address you how you dress, guys. It is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> All right, man. What I want you guys to do is put the bulk of your clothes in the cleaners, okay? Some may say, go, oh, that's too expensive. Well, it's going to be more expensive if you put this shirt in the washing machine and the washing machine tears it up and you have to buy a new one, okay? Put your shirts in the cleaners, man. They're going to last a lot longer and hold the shape longer and last longer. All this shirt looking good, all that's gonna help you with your compliments, okay? I'm a suit guy, I don't have one video where I tell you guys to wear a suit. However, I do recommend a suit. You know, I highly recommend it, but that's not for everybody, you feel me? Especially in the heat, I get it. I'm a suit guy, it's gotta be 200 for me not to wear a suit and they don't get too much, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for my suit guys who wear suits, you don't need but one sport coat, blazer, suit jacket, whatever name you want to put on it. You only need one, really two. But one to start with is a navy blue blazer or a charcoal gray. Guys, you can go anywhere with those two blazers and that's all you need, you feel me? Guys, three white button-ups, a pair of blue jeans, a pair of charcoal gray slacks or black slacks, some monk straps or boots, you good, man. I'm telling you, but start with this navy blue blazer because it can go with anything. I love French cuff shirts, guys, okay? I've gotten compliments on my French cuff shirt because they have what's called cuff links, guys. Y'all see that? Look, that's, that's a cuff link, okay? Let me pull it back a little bit so you can see it. That's a cuff link, guys, you feel me? I've got compliments, man. The chicks did cuff links, man. I was in Aldo. I didn't think the chicks, chicks notice everything, man. They, their eye is just designed to do that. I don't think they're necessarily trying to do that on purpose, but chicks notice everything, man. So I'm in Aldo, man. She well over two years ago. And she was like, man, I like your cufflinks, man. I didn't even think she was, you know, paying no attention to that, man. You feel me? But yeah, man, I love these cufflinks. Like I said, and the good thing about this bracelet, this is silver and gold. The good thing about silver and gold, two-tone jewelry, it can go with a silver cufflink or a gold cufflink. And that's going to bring you out, and that's going to bring in compliments. I'm telling you, man. Now. We're gonna go down. Of course, guys, I recommend also wearing a good old-fashioned watch. This watch is called a Diver. I love this style of watch. Again, two-tone, you see all that is matching up, guys. All that is matching up, you feel me? Two-tone, I know you guys kind of wear those Apple watches, and I get that, and I understand, you know, from a functionality, you know, but I would still recommend you wear a good old-fashioned watch from time to time.
you know, it shows that you're about your business and your time is valuable, man. You feel me? Your time is so valuable. All right. Next, wear a belt. Okay. Guys, all you have to do, uh, and then of course, they're not a sponsor of the video, but I wear a belt, which is called an Anson belt. Okay. And the good thing about the Anson belt is you can change the buckle from silver to gold. Real simple, guys. Silver matching metals. I've told you this before. Silver jewelry, silver belt buckle. Gold jewelry, gold belt buckle. That's it, guys. <laughs> That's all you have to do. You feel me? What you want to do is match the color of the belt to your shoes. Brown belt strap, brown shoes. Black belt strap, black shoes. That's it. Stick to monochromatic colors, guys. White, gray, black, and blue. You feel me? That's the simple way to put it. And just master the basics, guys. And there are only a few basics, okay? Size down. Fit is king. Stick to monochromatic colors. Black, white, gray, blue. Then, after you've mastered that, you can do the reds and the oranges and the greens and all those little different fly colors, you feel me? Next, make sure your jeans fit. If you're a slim fit guy, put on some slim fit jeans. I don't recommend skinnies. I don't wear skinnies. If you do, I mean, that's on you. If you're a slim guy, I w I'm a slim guy. I would recommend a slim fit jean with a taper at the bottom. If you're an athletic guy, get the athletic build with the taper at the bottom. The taper really makes it look good, guys. I mean, it makes it look exceptional as it tapers down to your shoes. Gives a very, very sleek look. And your socks. Your socks should match the color of your, your uh, jeans or trousers, okay? Blue jeans, blue socks. Black jeans, black socks. Gray slacks. Gray, slack, uh, gray socks, charcoal gray slacks, charcoal gray socks. It's real simple. You don't match your sock to your shoe. You match your sock to your jeans or your slack. So all that goes down. You feel me? So when you sit down and your jeans or your slacks slide up a little bit, you know how it is when you sit down. Those colors should match as close as possible. Okay? Now outside of that, you can do a no-show no sock, which is what I have on today. And depending on your shoe, it looks like you don't even have a sock on. And those come in black and white. I'm sure they come in different colors, but I've only really seen them in black and white. I have the black ones. That's what I wear. Some slides are loafers. You're going to see the top of it. But that's cool, guys. Here's the thing with fashion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now. We're not cartoons. Nobody is perfect, and it's not going to be, as much as I want it to be cookie cutter, it's not going to be cookie cutter perfect. There, there's no such thing. You just want it to be passable. And if, if you're doing these things, guys, I'm telling you, you're, you're going to be doing most, uh, more than most. You feel me? You're going to be doing more than most. More than most equals more compliments. That's how it works, guys. You stand out and set yourself apart, okay? Now, on another note, your hygiene guys, I want you to go in uh, with your insurance. You should be able to get two clean, two free cleanings a year, okay? You ain't got to bleach your teeth or do anything like that. They just, you just want them to be clean, okay? They will clean your teeth for free, get you a deep scaling, and let them go in there and scrape your teeth. Cause that's another thing, and if you, I want to, you want to talk about chicks, chicks looking at them teeth because they love their teeth to be white or bright. They they on that cute stuff they supposed to be. This channel we're not cute, we handsome. However, as a handsome guy, you don't again you don't have to go get them bleached. You can you can do that, but you just want them to be clean, okay? So if you have insurance with your J, go twice a year, get that free deep cleaning i know why you're running we all ran you think you're gonna go and you're gonna say you're gonna have a cavity or two and he might say that man get a feeling 
It doesn't hurt. You don't numb it. 20, 30 minutes, you're out the door, inexpensive. Just get it over with it. The anticipation of getting to that dentist appointment is, what, is what's stopping you bad. Just go ahead on, listen to Big Bro, man. You feel me? Just go ahead on and do it and get it over with. You feel me? And uh, again, back to the beer, guys. You're going to get the best version of your beer, okay? I can't, like, I, I follow uh, Be With The Beer. Go check him out and also Be The Barber, Be High. Be High is where I learned how to fade my, my beard, okay? Those guys, in my opinion, have hit what's called the beard lottery. However, even though they've hit the beard lottery as far as genetics, they spend a, a, spend a great amount of time into their beard. I'm talking about morning routines, evening routines, leaving moisturizers to their diet, different beer balms, oils, all that stuff. And that's why they beer live. You can't, and they got the beard louder and they still do that. My point is you can't cheat the game on that beard. I promise you. I've cut my beard because I was like, man, my beard, I just, ah, I ain't got it. I'll cut it, you know, cut it low, you know, because low is easy. You know, go with the beard stubble, that's smooth too. But I really like the, the full beard the best. And again, you ain't get the you ain't gonna get the next man beard. B with the beard, he got the most illustrious beard I've ever seen, man. And that's genetics coupled with the effort he put it into it. But your genetics or your genetics, guys. If you don't have those beard lines and you can tell on your face the lines. You, I'm gonna be real, you probably can't get a beard. Or if it's real patchy, like you got a patch here, and then you got another patch here, more than likely it's not gonna feel. And if you're a young man, 18, 20, 21, 22, that's not, I'm not talking to you. Because my full beard's gonna start kicking in until I was in my 30s, guys. So, you know, sometimes the beards do come in late. So if you're a young man and you're in your 20s, early 30s, you're like, man, my beard ain't coming in. Give it time, man. Let that grown man kick in, and that beard may come in. Of course, you know, no promises, you feel me? To my guys, smooth face guys that can't get a beard at all, man, this is when you go with, the, like, the late, great Sidney Poitier, man. James Bond, Harry Belafonte. Man, them guys were smooth with that clean shade. You know, it ain't for me, but them guys were smooth with that. Keep you a tight, clean shave. Stay on top of it. Get you a tight, straight edge razor, man. You know what I'm saying? Get you that beard, I mean, uh, not beard, uh, that shave cream. Let it sit on there. Maybe an aftershave if your skin can handle it. You know, drink plenty of water, guys. This is not a healthy nutrition channel, but drink, pretty, uh, drink plenty of uh, water, which is going to help your complexion. You feel me? And you know, when, when you have a, a nice complexion and you're doing everything I'm saying, couple season yourself with salt baby boom boom <laughs> boom 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 and i hit them with the extra credit today because gold is always extra credit oh one baby oh one baby boom so i hit them with the extra credit man if you do everything i've outlined in my opinion you should get more compliments guys and compliments increase Confidence, when your confidence goes up, you'll start doing more. You'll get off the porch. You'll get off the couch. You'll make moves. You'll be more outgoing. I'm an introverted guy that can work a room. I'll pull the oxygen out that room, but I really don't want to. You know, I'll just sit back in the room and just look at you. You feel me? Because I, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, if you want a more of an approachable energy, if you're doing everything I got, that will raise that confidence. And when you're more confident, you will cold approach, you know what I'm saying, and talk to people and be more outgoing, you know, and, and you got to be humble, guys. If you do everything I said and you arrogant, pomp uh, pompous, pretentious, you know, puffed up, you know, you, you're not going to get no compliment because you could be amazing. Be like, man, I ain't going to get this dude no compliment. It's just going to make his head bigger. He already a butt. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Check that attitude, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and just, just check your demeanor. You know what I'm saying? Are you affable? 
how do people feel around you? When people around me, they get relaxed because I'm predictable. They know ain't going to be no tripping, ain't going to be no weird stuff, ain't going to be no funny stuff. It's going to be some real laid back player type energy going on, which relaxes people. When people are relaxed, they will give you a compliment, but they tense like, man, I don't know what this guy, he, he too unpredictable, man. I don't know what he might do. He go from zero to a hundred. He don't even think before he make a move. I can't be affiliated with this guy, you know what I'm saying? Quick to hear, slow to speak, you feel me? Two ears, one mouth, sit back a little bit, you feel me? Lay back in the cut, peep game. Where there are many words, there is also transgression. They may might be talking too much, too talkative, man. If I give him a compliment, he'll never shut up. All that, guys. So, man, guys, I want you to watch this video over and over again, man. There are gems all throughout this video. You know, I felt impressed and inspired to do this video today. You know, and I, and I hope it can really bless you guys, man. Straight up, man. But again, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the Goldie. And check out your boy Goldie community page. Community page Gold. On there, I'll be posting my fragrance of the days and different style, tips, advice, and different things you can do that I do discuss in my videos, but I can also put them in the post. You feel me? You know, and also let me know in the comment section, you know, do, do you want more of the single standalone reviews? Do you want more lists? More videos like this, which is more kind of more life, lifestyle, self-development, you know, different things like that. Let me know in the comment section, man. Again, got to share the Goldie, baby, because it's Goldie, baby. Oh, freeze. <laughs> oh, freeze in here, man. Love y'all, man. Straight up, man. Say, look out, man. Always. <laughs> and I do mean always. Look good. Feel good. Smell good. Stay humble. And stack your paper, stack your chips, guys. That's all you got to do with everything going on. You know, I done told you over and over again, stack your paper so that everything that's going on, you know, you got to stack over there, man, to sit back. I've given you great, affordable, for, I've given you, in my opinion, the best affordable fragrances on planet Earth, guys. I've given it to you, man. You feel me? So, go back and watch my videos, man. My channel is a repository, man. Go back, watch my videos. I've covered almost everything, man. And if you after you watch over my over hundred some videos on me, you're going to be live. I'm telling you, you're going to be live. If I could take y'all on a live, a day in the life th with me throughout the day. You would do the things I'm asking you to do now. And that's what I'm asking you to do, guys. All right? Remember, I'm big bro. I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong, man. All right, guys. Stay sharp, man. Peace.